Hi, I'm in Sisimit, so obviously I made it. The last seven days were an absolutely amazing experience. Uh, I've seen a lot of wild stuff, the nature that is really rough, the terrain that was really tough, but I had a really good time doing all of this. So I actually arrived here yesterday morning, but I uh, kind of took a day off uh, just to get back into civilization, into normal life. Um, I ate, um, I, I slept in a hotel actually for a change. It was difficult to be inside, I think. And um, today I'm flying back first to Kangrosak and then to Copenhagen and then home. So uh, I just wanted to create uh, a short message to let you know that everything is fine and um, like create a teaser for what is to come and what you can expect to see in the coming days when I get home and I start processing all of the material that I have recorded. Oh, I don't know if that's easy to see on the video, but that over there is the ice cap. I have porridge for breakfast today. This is it, this is the point 660. This is the entry and exit point for the expeditions that come to traverse the sheet or the ice cap. Even though there's a trail marked on the map, I can't see any here. Let's see what's waiting inside. Oh, what's this? <laughs> this morning I couldn't find the map for this section of the trail. Now, I don't want this to turn into a, a re hut review vlog, but let's take a look what's inside. This is definitely one of the stranger landscapes I have ever seen. The first 5k from where I pitched the tent were quite a mess, it was very wet and there's traces of another fire here. <laughs> it's late afternoon of day 5 on the trail and I think it's time for a shoe update. This valley was almost definitely carved out by a glacier. It's like a few hundred meters across. I met a lady on a trail who said that she's seen northern lights at night. Well, I slept through all of those, I guess. But I don't even have to look out to know what the weather is like. Well, well, look at what I found. <laughs> <laughs> 